At a climate mitigation conference, Jeremy Russell Smith showed how traditional fire management practices were scientifically enhanced to enable traditional owners to continue caring for their lands, while at the same time reducing wildfire greenhouse gas emissions. There's been a radical shift in the way we think about how the north uh, of Australia should be managed with fire, that there is a far greater acceptance that customary management is appropriate and needs to be encouraged. And if you looked at this uh, Western Arnhem Land fire project, you'd have to say it has been successful in so many ways, and largely because right from the outset, it had the full authority of the cultural governance arrangement. The senior traditional owners were very supportive of the needing to actually get together a program which uh, would be inclusive, representative of their cultural needs, but knowing that it had to become sustainable in the longer term. What are you now? Scientists from Venezuela were also seeing the interregional potential of fire abatement. La experiencia que tienen acá en Australia es de abarcar un territorio mayor pero es también impresionante cómo los mecanismos tradicionales de manejo de fuego son idénticos entre las comunidades aborígenes australianas y los amerindios, que estamos tan lejos, en dos continentes tan diferentes, y sin embargo es el, el, la misma forma de manejo.